Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm from the Action Forum for Palestine, and we also want to bring tribute to uh, Imam Harun. Many of us uh, learned in the struggle about the, this great leader, and I'm sure today, if we reflect on his work and what he has done. We can honestly say that he was a true leader, he was a dedicated leader, he was someone that can take us really um, forward to true liberation, not the liberation that we have today, as we all know. So, firstly, what we can see is that from the Action Forum, we want to incorporate the leadership qualities that Imam Arun brought to us, which is we have to stand on the side of justice. We have to make sure that we fight injustice everywhere. And what we have here in South Africa and in Palestine, we can see that many of our people are still suffering under injustice. We had the recent experiences of Marikana where 34 workers were killed through an unjust system. Somebody mentioned earlier about the land question. The land has not been transferred to its people. Another form of injustice. On the Palestinian situation, we all know what is happening in Palestine. And it's very important that we fight injustice even there. And that's why it's important on this important day that we know that Imam Harun stood for in against injustices, that we link up with his views and with his struggle against any form of injustice anywhere uh, in South Africa or in the world. The characteristics from, of Imam Arun for me is also very important. Um, this is something that we learned way back in the struggle. He was a very simple man and he was a very modest man. A lot of our leaders today, they are totally removed from the people. There's no simplicity, there's no modesty. They are above the law and they're above ourselves. But I think as long as we can unite as people on the ground and based on these important principles of simplicity and modesty, like Imam Harun, then it means that we can take another step forward. And that's why it's very important for us to link up. The lady earlier said that the perpetrators, the killers of Imam Harun, has not been brought to book. 45 years after his death, we had the truth and reconciliation. In my view, that was a waste of time because there was no truth and there was no reconciliation. Um, and it's very important for us to look at what do we do? It, we can't just say that the perpetrators was not brought to book. We need to, to take the further step and say we want them to come out. Who was responsible? Who will be kept responsible for Imam Harun? If we don't do that, it means that we will fail his legacy because he was a person that was prepared to stand up during very difficult times in our country. It is not, there was no democracy at the time. We had the apartheid police on their uh, heels all the time. Um, and all the difficult situation that he, was, he faced at that point in time, we need to take that and make sure that we now take his struggle forward. Um, Imam Arun was also a person with, uh, like the previous speakers have said that um, he was, he linked up with other cultural groups, he linked up with other, other political groups. He was not with, with that I would say sectarian, he didn't just look at Muslim people in particular. Now, that is very important because the unity of people in South Africa, in the world, is very important. We cannot take on a system that is unjust on our own. And that's why it's important from the Action Forum of Palestine and other together to say that unity it is very, very important. And this is one of the important principles that we can take out of the book of Imam Arun. We all know in the township, he was called the Mfundisi. Now that is a priest. That means that he carried support not only in the Muslim community, but all over. And that is very important. That unity is something that we have to take forward and we have to make sure that we build on this. And not only in our marches, in our demonstrations, but we need to take an organic form where we can unite 
organizationally and say this is what we stand for. We are prepared to take his legacy forward and in that way build the unity and fight injustices uh, in South Africa and across the world. Lastly, I just want to say that from the Action Forum, we would like to invite everybody to participate in the forum. There's meetings every Monday. Um, and it's important for us to discuss the issue of Palestine because we know there's many people that want to provide solutions for the issues of Palestine. Some people are saying we, they want a two-state solution. Some people want to import the South African scenario to Palestine. We believe that we should not dictate to the people of Palestine. We support their struggles, but we also believe that there can only be one state. We want to look at the one-state solution in Palestine. We can't have a situation where your land has been taken away and then at the end you have to share your land, you know, by force, by the Zionists. I mean, that is not going to make sense for us. And therefore, we are standing for a one-state solution. We want to make sure that we build with, and link hands with other organizations to expose even the hypocrisy of the South African government because we know they say one thing and they do the opposite. And that's why it's very important for us to educate ourselves around the Palestine, Palestinian situation and make sure that we build our unity and action and take our struggle forward. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Israel out of Palestine! Israel out of Palestine! Boycott Woolworths! Boycott, pick and pay. Thank you very much, people.